Hello dear patients, today we are going to briefly talk about analysis of prostate secretion. Quite often different analysis of prostate secretion are taken in clinics. What is done for that? As is shown in the picture, first prostate massage is done, and then prostate secretion comes out of urethra. When do I use it? First of all, for analysis of sexually transmitted infections. There are two indications here. First one is when there is a case of possibly old infection and we might be unable to find sexually transmitted infection in the canal. Or there may be a simultaneous lesion of prostate, prostatitis and we theoretically suspect a sexually transmitted infection. And secondly, when the patient is afraid of this relatively painful smear from urethra. As is seen on the picture, prostate secretion comes out, it passes through the canal and infections can be found there, in prostate secretion as well as in urethra. Prostate secretion can be taken for almost the whole spectrum of sexually transmitted infections, including mycobacterium tuberculosum, eight fungi of candida, etc., with an exception of human papillomavirus. As for this analysis, cells of urethra are needed. So all the other analysis, 17 to 20 positions, and if we consider different adenoviruses, then there would be about 30 positions, can be taken from prostate secretion. Secondly, I often take bacterial culture test from the patient's prostate secretion. It's better if this culture test will be with anaerobes that are oxygen-less bacteria. Often in many clinics and in laboratories a usual culture test is done, but anaerobic or oxygen-less bacteria live there, and they are not checked in a usual culture test. On one hand, this prostate secretion often seems sterile, but in fact bacteria that induce or at least maintain prostatitis live there. And finally, prostate secretion is taken for inflammation and microscopy of prostate secretion indirectly shows us the activity of prostate work. This is also one of the main analyses. You can watch separate, more detailed videos about each individual type of analysis, including analysis of prostate secretion on our channel. This patient is examined due to chronic prostatitis, and enterococcus was found as well as inflammation in prostate secretion, leukocytes of 2530, and no sexually transmitted infections were found. These are the particular results of this patient. They are needed so that antibiotics would be correctly prescribed for treatment of prostatitis, and secondly, to understand the dynamics of process after treatment. If it's necessary to do different analysis of prostate secretion, you can consult urologists of our paid medical center of Dermatic Neurologic Dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who take these analyses well, and the most important thing is that they do it correctly. We're waiting for you now. Please.